Hey, Jenny. How's it going, sweetie? Hello, Molly Wobbles. How's it going, Jen? We got a little bit of snow last night, huh? Yeah, what do you think about that, sweetheart? I'd estimate, I'd probably say about six inches or so, maybe. We're probably gonna get a few more over the course of today. Cats hate the snow. They despise it. But I do know two animals that absolutely love the snow. Let's go say hi to them. Hello, large white farm dogs. Where are you? Where's my Toby dog? Where's my Abby dog? Oh, there's my Abby dog. Hey, sweetie pie. How's it going? Did you have a good night? Looks like the dogs were hunkered down for the duration. I don't see a lot of doggy footprints. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello, Mr. Toby Dog. Abby, how'd you get so dirty last night? Uh, we're gonna have to fire up the tractor in a little bit and clear all the snow. And we also have to feed hay to our cattle. Howdy, Jimi Hendrix. How's it going, buddy boy? You're looking all wet. Yeah, it's funny. With the Scottish Highlands, when it's a warm snow like the one we're having right now, they generally melt that snow right down really quick. Toby just peed on the cattle gate. Belinda Carlisle's looking at it. Hey, you two, where are you running off to? Whenever the dogs get to leave their yard, they always like to immediately pee around it. You know, Toby dog just hit that spot. Abby dog just hit that spot. Come on, guys, let's go. We got chores to do. We're going inside. Come on. Oh, look at your snout. You're covered in snow. <laughs> All right, let's get the water pumping. As you guys can see here, the dogs have their water. The waterer does such a good job keeping that water going. Yeah, you love that, don't you? What do you think about this snow? Any reports you'd like to give? No? All right, you do your thing. Oh. Sometimes the uh, snow puts the gate track out of alignment. That'll be another thing I have to fix today. Do you guys hear that weird chicken crow? It's right from that. They're ready to get up. By my count, this is only like our third big snowstorm of the year. And I mean, it's not really big, moderately sized snowstorm of the year. And we're already at the end of January, so I don't know. <laughs> it's just been a very weird winter. Come on, dogs. You ready to say hi to your birds? Yeah? All right, let's go. Good morning, birdie birds. I'm not sure if you guys can notice it, but I can. It's so much darker in here than it usually is because the roof is still covered with snow. Over the course of today, this snow will fly down and it'll actually build up the side walls here on the side of the hoop coop. Abby's doing her morning pee right here in this spot. Mark her territory and watch, Toby will probably follow soon. How's it going, gooses? Hey, would you look at that? It's the Untitled Goose Game Goose. Oh, see, there's Toby doing his thing. I told you to do it. Do I know my dogs or what? All right, release the Quacken! I don't know, let's see, are they even gonna wanna go outside with this much snow? Because we're getting snow later today, I actually am planning on feeding them inside today versus outside. Gonna bring some of these feeders in. Let's switch the water line to the next one. I don't usually empty out the snow because on a day like this, the snow's just gonna melt and it's just a way to conserve a little bit of water. All right, Toby Dog, can we find their other feeders? Here's one here. Here's another one here. Come on, let's go guys. I mean, you're welcome to hang outside. I'm gonna feed them inside. All right, everybody's having their feeding this morning indoors. You know, it really makes my heart happy to see Abby hanging out with the birds like that. She absolutely loves eating snow and chomping on ice. And it's so nice to see her just kind of serene and calm around the birds without freaking out and trying to play with them. It really, to me, shows just how far she's come. Okay, chickens, time to fill up your dust bath. Abby, this isn't for you. <laughs> Uh-oh. The camera was the victim of Abby. <sighs> So because we run a wood stove, we have a lot of wood ash. And oftentimes I like to take the wood ash and dump it into this tire that I have here. And it makes for a nice little dust bath for my chickens. You know, unlike my ducks and my geese who go swimming in the water, even in the coldest months, the chickens clean themselves by going into like dust or dirt and like doing a little dust bath. And so, you know, in the summer months, they'll just go into dirt. In the winter months, I like to give them this as an extra opportunity. It also does good things in terms of, it gives me a place to toss my wood ash. And the wood ash, I think, helps balance out some of the compost that we create here. Probably don't have enough of it to really make an impact, but I like to think I do, so. I don't know, I guess there's that. I love hanging out here on a snowy day with the birds. It just makes me really happy. Actually, because it's been so warm this winter, you can see 
see evidence of a chicken dust bath that they created themselves over here as well. But if you're gonna try this at home with your chickens and your wood ash, just make sure you wait about 72 hours before dumping the wood ash in with your chickens. You know, chicken bedding is an extreme fire hazard, and so you gotta be very, very careful, and you don't wanna have hot embers still burning when you put it in there, because it's a super big fire risk. But if you wait a couple of days, let all the wood ash completely die out and cool down, then you're fine to put it in there with your food. Look at that goose. It's one of the Parks and Recreation gang, and she's chomping on some ice too. You know, there's water outside. I just I haven't seen any birds really spend much time outside today. Hey birds, you wanna come out? Come on out, it's nice out, it's not too cold. Abby likes it. Yes you do, yes you do, sweetie pie. Toby likes it too, you can already see. Marking his territory in another spot. I'm just gonna take a moment, sit here in the snow, and enjoy my life. It is actually a rather warm day today, so doing something like this is not too bad, and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Hi, baby Abby. Hi, baby Abby. I know, maybe we could go to the dog bar later and hang out. But right now, it's kind of nice to just hang out in the snow. Yeah, one of the purchases I made this fall for my winter clothing arsenal was this like full body work suit, unitard, I don't know what you call it. And I'm really glad I had this one though, because particularly on snowy days, when I used to come out here and do my farm chores or snow cleanup chores, what would happen is I would do everything and then my clothes would be covered in snow and soaking wet. Because I have this on now, I actually can probably keep wearing the same clothes I have underneath when I get inside. Ah, look, everybody came outside now. Do you see how happy the waterfowl are to be able to swim in the water? Regardless of temperature, waterfowl will swim in water, no doubt about it. All right, dogs, let's go. We can't dilly-dally too much. We got more work to do here. Out you go, guys. All right, let's go check on our cattle and see how they're doing this morning. Hey, Mr. Pablo Barncat. You just sitting there waiting for me by the gate? Be careful, the gate's a little wonky right now. As you can see, the calves are wondering when they get to be reunited with their moms. And actually, the answer is gonna be pretty soon. I'll probably give it a couple more days and I will end the weaning. And I think, and I don't wanna jinx myself, but I think particularly with this snowfall, we'll be able to get back out on the pasture and get to the white mama cow and her calf. And so we'll have two new additions to the farm. Plus these guys will be able to go back with these guys. And then very soon in early February, Randy Macho Man Savage will be joining us here at the farm. So stay tuned for those videos. I know everybody's very excited about that possibility. Now one upside of the fact that we have all this snow and it's rather warm, I don't have to break up the ice trough here. What I do want to do is give them some fresh water. And while I'm pumping that water, we'll go visit our other feathered friends, the weird chickens. Okay, weird chickens, I have your food. I know I came back earlier with your water, but didn't give you your food. Here's some fresh food. Weird chickens aren't quite sure what to make of the weather. They really don't like the snow. They don't like the cold. They're kind of perpetually cranky. But I love just hanging out here and watching them. Abby actually came out here and joined me as well. I don't know what she's playing with. Might be an old scrap piece of food that I gave to the weird chickens that they didn't eat. Abby, what you got there? Abby, hey, leave it. Good girl, good girl. You leave it when I say, that's good. Have a good day, weird chickens. Come with me, dogs. Yeah, you're investigating that? There's no food in it yet for you. I'll feed you guys in a little bit. Let me do all the other chores first. Look how graceful Molly Murder Mittens is. I know I've posted a couple of videos comparing how Pablo, Molly, and Ginny all vault the gate. And yeah, I gotta say, hands down, Molly is always the best gate vaulter there is. The girls just got so much style. Move this out of the way because I'm not going to need it this morning. Well, 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 if it isn't my favorite cow, Ariel. How's it going, sweetie? Aw, good to see you, girl. They're pretty much fresh out of hay. It's actually really important to keep opening and closing this gate, keeping the snow out of the way. So if I need to get in, I can get in. So this gate is on like a floppable hinge, just like my other gate, the small one. That way, if I need to pop it up, 
because of the snow, it's really easy. Installing your gates that way is not the best move for like security because it makes it easy for somebody to break in. But I think it's a lot better when you're having to deal with snow and getting access to your animals. And so that's why I make that trade off. Hi, Audrey. How's it going, girl? How are you? Good to see you, darling. Give you a pat on the bum. And there's my girl, Annabelle. How are you? Yeah, so like my friend Janet told me, I'm trying to approach them from the side and go slowly. But most of the ladies still kind of move away. I don't know, it might always be like that. There's Amanda hug and kiss. She definitely doesn't want to be near me. But then this gal right here, she always wants to be near me. Yeah, you are the bestest girl. I forgot to bring the brush, but it is good to see you, girl. Oh, good girl, area. All right, first things first, let's boot up the tractor. Uh-oh, I'm not getting anything here. OPC, what does that mean? That's not a good sign. I guess I'm gonna need to consult the tractor manual. OPC, I wonder what that means. Okay, I think I figured out what I was doing wrong. Let's see if this works. I think because I had the tractor seat flipped up to keep the snow off last night, that OPC code meant that it wasn't detecting an operator in the tractor. There we go. When I first got my tractor, I really hated this manual, but I've now come to love it because it's become my resource for everything I don't know about my tractor, which is a whole heck of a lot of stuff. All right, with the tractor warming up, clear the snow out of the gate area and fix our gate. Here guys, I'll let you explore a little bit. Oh, Abby, you just knocked over all the people at home. The dogs are communing with calves. They love doing that. There we go. Back to work in order. Come on, dogs. Let's go. Oh, they're so happy though playing in the snow. Come on, guys. Inside. Let's go. Inside, Abby. Toby dog, come on. Oh, he always has to get one last pee in. Come on, Topes. Good boy. Good boy. By the way, I wanted to say thank you to everyone for all the really sweet, kind, and positive comments I got on that video about the uncomfortable questions. I wasn't expecting that sort of feedback, and so I definitely wanted to say thank you to you. It's always weird when you put yourself out there like that, and you're not quite sure what people are gonna think about you. And I was terrified people would hate me after that video. But I felt like it was important to make an honest video. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for that. It really means a lot to me. So one new purchase I made for the tractor back in the fall was I got chains for the tires. Those chains for the tires make my tractor way stickier and grippier so it doesn't slip in the snow. It makes a huge, huge difference. I'm really thankful to have them. And I think the other nice thing about having them is I used to have to really plow through this area every time we got a snow to keep it clear so the tractor could drive through. But now with the tire chains, I don't even need it. I can just kind of like go in here and drive over the snow and pack it down and that makes it perfectly fine. All right, let's grab a hay bale. Look at those hungry little calves munching away. You guys have really gotten used to eating just hay. That's good. Shows me that you're pretty much ready to be fully reintroduced back into the fold. <laughs> 
Look at the wig that Jimi Hendrix is wearing. Isn't that adorable? Get up there, girl. Hey, Abby Dog. You taking a nap? <laughs> I suppose now is the time I should probably clear the driveway of snow. So sorry about that guys, some snow came down from the roof and slid right off. We have what's known as a standing seam roof. That means that it's like a single sheet of metal. It's a really good roof design for this part of the country. It's pretty common around here. It's designed so that the snow will slide right off and you won't have ice or water building up and creating ice dams on your roof, which often are one of the biggest causes of roof leaks. But particularly because we have such a common and frequent thaw and freeze cycle, ice dams are very common here. And so having a standing steam roof makes a lot of sense. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed catching up with me on farm chores this morning. I'll be back again real soon with another video. Until then, why don't you watch this video? It's a really, really good one. I'll see you guys soon.